All right, everybody. This is Justin Flinter from the Justin Flinter Podcast by My Match Your Medicine, coming to you live from Northern Virginia, as always. Uh, just putting together a few thoughts, and something came into mind about making excuses. You know, I listen to so many conversations every single day on my way to work, on my way to the clinic, when I'm on the metro, when I'm driving my my car, listening to the radio, and hear people call in and. Anywhere that I go, at a restaurant, coffee shop, whatever it might be, I I hear so many people making so many excuses about things that they could or should or would do in their lives. And you know what? I'm tired of it. You know, I think this message will, before I go off on it again, the message that I recorded that I'm adding on right after this is really going to resonate with you. So have a listen, make some choices, and I hope that you will decide to not make excuses in your life because excuses lead to regret, lead to pain, lead to suffering, lead to an empty life. So let's move forward. Okay, enjoy this one. I'll talk to you guys soon. I wish you guys could see my face right now. I have such a big smile on it. I can feel it inside, I can feel it in my heart, I can feel it everywhere. I'll tell you why I'm smiling. Because I have learned that regret is one of the best teachers I've ever had in my entire life. What do I mean? Without it, I would not learn how to appreciate every single moment that I get to experience on this planet. I would not be thankful for those in my life. I would not be able to see the beauty that my children can show to me even in the hardest times. Regret I am grateful for and at the same time being my teacher I have learned what an experience I can have from it as well as without it why because I am the creator I am the creator of my life and so are you you get to create every single moment that you are on this planet So what excuses are you making? What excuse have you made in the last five minutes or 10 minutes or hour or 24 hours that has kept you from experiencing something that might possibly just change your life, change your perspective, that might take away from some sort of experience that could lead you in a completely different direction, that might just have you pack your bags and just go just get on that plane just go buy that ticket for the bus and go see the most beautiful place in the world or who knows maybe maybe one of the most suffering places in the world to just bring you perspective because that's what regret can actually do for you is bring you perspective teach you and what you learn from it is that we should stop making any kind of excuse to keep us from experiencing the beauty that life has to offer us. It can be found in the presence of any human being, in the presence of any inanimate object or place or any any place in nature because it doesn't it's not a gift from outside. It's your ability to see it. It's your ability to feel it. Can you smell it? Can you touch it? How heightened are your body senses? Or even even more, how masked are your body senses? Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing because now you have the opportunity to open up an entire world around you. It doesn't matter if you're 5 years old or 95 years old. You can do this. 
I know. I am doing it. I choose to do it. I have chose to do it. I have learned from the experiences that life has given me that excuses don't deserve to be a part of my life. Why? Because I create them, which if I can create them, then I can choose not to create them. So put down your excuses. Stop walking towards a life of regret. Just get off your ass. Get up. Go do what it is that you want to do. From the smallest thing to the biggest thing, you do not know. No one will know. No one is able to know if it is your last moment or last day or your last breath or your last year or month whatever nobody knows when they are going to leave this planet for good what does not matter if you think you're going to come back in another form or another person or whatever this life right here right now this is the last time you will experience this moment ever and the moment that's about to come will be gone as well so what are you doing that is keeping you from moving to that next moment with a full heart, with a full smile, with full passion, with no regret, with no excuses? Let go. What is it that you're holding on to? There, there, there is no reason to hold on to anything. Feel free. Open your heart. Open your voice. I mean, use whatever analogy comes to you. I mean, a, fl a, a flower, a cloud, the sun coming over the horizon. It does not matter. What matters most, above all, is you being able to perform it, to feel it. Because if you don't, all of the other stuff is superficial. Just another eh, cool little picture I saw on the internet or some nice quote that resonates with me well if it resonates with you then let it freaking resonate from you don't just read it be it get off your ass go do something go do it do the thing you want to do do you do that vacation do that job do that business do that dream do it. Feel it. Because this may be the last time you hear my voice. Maybe my last time to get a message out to you. And that hits me deep. Because the one thing that I do is to make sure that there are as few people as possible left on this earth suffering. I don't want you to feel pain. I don't want you to to be depressed or or uh, whatever it might be, some form of pain. No suffering, no pain, no regret, no excuses. I want you to live. Live. Live as if you mean it. You have lots of people out there telling you, you know what, it's just like I am now. I mean, the, the messages sound so similar, but the, the point of me telling you is it's not so that the message is similar. It's so that maybe by the words that I'm sending out to you that it will just fall into your ear and then go down deep into your body and hit you on some deep level that I can't even describe through words that will shake you at your core and say, you know what? It's time. I've had enough. You've had enough of holding back, of making excuses that, oh, I don't have enough time, or I don't have enough resources, or I'm not, I'm not good enough. You know what? Screw that. You have everything that you need. You have everything that every other person has on this planet. We were designed that way. You have the same, roughly, the same number of bones, the same number of muscles, the same number of organs. Maybe there's a few differences here and there, but people that have less or may actually be doing more than you. 
What's your excuse? I hope you tell me that you have none. No excuses. No regrets. Like I said, get off your ass. Stop sitting around. Do the thing that you want to do. Do you. Why do you think I'm sitting here talking to people just into this microphone sitting in front of my face? I don't know if anybody's out there listening or not. And to, to be quite frank, I don't care. Why? Because I know that I'm doing me. I do hope, though, that somebody's out there at some point or another that maybe the message will hit them and they'll say, you know what, it's time to do me too. That's it. I make the choice. So, what's your excuse? And what are you going to do about it? Starting now.